This is a photo of Edna Heidbreder, who is the author of one of the main sources I've used for two decades in teaching psychology's history. So here's Edna. And as I said, um, she was at Minnesota when she wrote The Green Book. And this picture is archived in Psychologist Feminist Voices on, on their site. And I learned about it through uh, some of her contemporary Minnesota uh, faculty members. Um, that's interesting, just to look at a profile. She was born in 1890, the year William James published his Principles of Psychology, the year Titchener uh, arrived at Cornell and opened a laboratory there. Um, she had outstanding, oh, she, she lived until 1985, so 95 years, what a long life that was. Her training was outstanding, a PhD from Columbia University in 1934. Uh, prior to that, a master's at Wisconsin by 1918, and she received her BA from Knox College. Um, her primary affiliations were Minnesota up until 1934, the year after she published The Green Book. And then she really wanted to go, according to uh, the department historian at Minnesota, she really wanted to uh, depart and go to Wellesley College, where, she, where perhaps she found uh, there could be a richer feminist voice. Um, and left Minnesota, spent the last 20 years at Wellesley. So um, many were lucky, many students at Wellesley College, which again has an outstanding tradition. We're lucky to uh, have Edna arrive. If we look at a few of her selected works, and I'm sure she was incredibly productive as a faculty member, her seven psychologies is listed, of course, but then also in 1934, she reviewed Sigmund Freud's introductory lectures on psychoanalysis in the Journal of Abnormal and Social Psychology, which was one of the flagship journals uh, even by the 1980s when I came to grad school. And she wrote in 1972 a biography of Mary Calkins in, uh, that I'm going to have to uh, retrieve to give some history of Calkins, who was the first female president of the APA, and then Margaret Floyd Washburn was the second. Um, and as this biography tells, she extended her work on schools of psychology to talk about systems of psychology. And so uh, Dr. Uh, Furumoto, who biographizes uh, Heidberger, uh, wrote a piece on systemic and cognitive, wrote about her as a systemic and cognitive psychologist. Um, and uh, other authors write about Heidbreder as a systems psychologist. So as well as one of the early feminist voices in psychology, she was also one of the early voices um, articulating systems of psychology. And she started to see some um, some constants in her analysis of the seven schools, um, and she elaborated those in discussing systems um, and qualities and components of systems. And I don't know this work, this later work of hers, but I do know her uh, seven psychologies, which is outstanding. Um, and that book, by the way, the seven psychologies book, the Green Book, is reported by some to have been the most widely read book on the history of psychology. And that would not surprise me. There aren't a lot of great books on psychology's history. And this is one of the best. Hers is, is really timeless. And, uh, and so I've adopted it and have maintained it as a source in any course on history I have taught. So there's Edna, wonderful contributor and an enormously productive feminist voice in psychology's history.